So I think we can start now. Um, this is Conrad speaking from Liba Liba and uh, welcome to our webinar on modeling based on feature branches and thank you for your interest. I'm pleased to be able to say a few introductory words at the beginning. And before introducing our today's speakers, some organizational words concerning this uh, webinar. Please mute your microphone. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to use the chat functionality of Zoom during this session. And um, we are happy to answer them at the end of the webinar. So let me briefly introduce our speakers, Daniel and Philip. Philip Kalender is consultant and trainer at Liba Liba and expert in the area of SysML and UML and knows Git um, like the back of his hand. And Daniel Siegel is a well-known expert in the systems engineering community and he's heavily involved in standardization organizations like the OMG or in COSI. So now I would like to hand over to Daniel. Daniel, the stage is yours. Thank you, Conrad. Uh, we are very pleased that so many people were able to join in today. Uh, we are talking about best practices we found at our customers in the last years, which is basically uh, to model, but to use the power uh, you get from workflows based on feature branches. With me today is Philip. I think Conrad already introduced him. I have one more important housekeeping announcement. If you want to get the slides or the Git repository we are using today, uh, please email, email us at welcome at libaliba.com and we will get, to, get back to you as soon as possible. So I guess most of you are at home at the moment, so are we. So uh, Liebe Lieber is in the south of Vienna, but Philip and myself, we live even further south and we are both in our home office and we ha have the challenge today uh, to model together. So how could we do that? Let's find out. Uh, like most of the industry that we serve has uh, challenges uh, that are basically the same for everybody. There's a constant cost pressure in the R&D uh, there is an innovation uh, pressure. Uh, some say it's in the automotive industry, it's one American company that started it all. Uh, there is constant change generally, and the complexity is growing and growing and growing. And then you have norms that you have to fulfill despite you have to have a much more dynamic product development life cycle than in uh, past decades. There is some examples of industries uh, that use uh, the stuff uh, uh, we build. Uh, for example, it's transportation, automotive, aerospace, defense. Um, um, how do you call it? Space industry and, uh, and medical industries, but also other stuff, you know, like drills or lawn mowers use the same MBC based technologies. So, the solution strategies that people typically have to tackle the challenges I named before is for one is model-based systems engineering. In COSI even says, said uh, that it's not system engineering anymore, it's just model-based systems engineering because everything else doesn't work anymore. Uh, on the other hand, you need very good configuration and change management and you need to ma make sure you can support agile development processes. So you have a lot of complexity to manage. And one of the things that is typically used to manage the complexity is a very good configuration management. Uh, the number one goal typically is tracking of changes. The number two goal typically is making sure it stay, the integrity is preserved. Uh, number three, preventing unpredictable effects. And number four, and this is something we will touch today because the work we show today is based on Git flow, is to standardize the process of making changes, okay? Uh, let's look back a few years, the number 2014, I choose randomly anything in, the, in between 2001 and 2008, 9, 10, uh, uh, <laughs> Would, would be exactly the same. 
So people found out that MBSC needs advanced configuration management because the solutions, the commercial solution in the market only allow for pessimistic version control. But in the software industry, everybody is using optimistic model version control uh, for quite some time. And at the package level is not the best way to version a model. And none of the solutions for modeling and version control uh, supported established Git processes. So how do we want to work? And I, we always say this optimistic and I want to show you in this picture a simple explanation what is optimistic. Pessimistic is I have to lock the model, modify it and return it. In an optimistic model, both the, me and Philip can work on a model in parallel. If I do the check-in, which is this version uh, two, uh, my changes are uh, propagated to the server. Now, if Philip takes a little bit longer, uh, he has to merge the model. And this merge is not necessarily something dangerous or hard. In most cases, if we didn't touch the same UML elements or SysML elements, it will be a full automatic process without any user interaction. Only should we happen to have touched the same requirement or the same diagram, uh, we need some way uh, to resolve conflicts. But in most cases, if you work with a feature based feature branch based approach, uh, you really uh, don't have to merge very often uh, with the user interface. And this is also important branching. Many people think, oh, this is only software nerd stuff. But think of your processes. You always do branches when you develop products because you have some platform components, you have some customer projects, you have various releases of a product. And at the end of the day, if you lay out your process, you will find out, oh, in reality, we have a process that works with branches, but we might not use a version control system that was built to handle this uh, for, a, for a specific task. What we want to show you today is the combination of enterprise architect uh, plus a Git flow, proce Git flow process. And this can be done because we use Liber Liber Lemon Tree as the conflict resolution or merge tool. It basically enhances your modeling process and gives you lots of advantages in the day-to-day -day work. It helps to have longer term and parallel development capabilities uh, with all versions and variants you might have to do. And it reuses existing tools uh, that, that the software industry is using for quite some time. You even can end up uh, storing your model in the same repository like the design drawings or the software source code uh, so you get even better control over your full product development. And this uh, version control support is always required to, to be able to fulfill uh, safety critical norms. Like for example, the ISO 2622 for the automotive industry. Uh, if you read it, you can clearly see indications uh, that it's required to use a strong version control system. So we are ready for the demo. Today uh, we, will, we will work on our famous power window model. Uh, we, Philip uh, will open it up and prepare a feature branch for us uh, so we can modify it. Philip, the stage is yours. Thanks. So thanks Daniel for the introduction. So as Daniel already mentioned, uh, we want to work on the power window um, model. And what is the initial situation? So we want to work uh, in feature branches. So we choose uh, Git flow in order to work on the model. Right now, the, the basis uh, of our development process is the development branch. And the first thing we're gonna do today is to create a feature branch in order to work in a separate branch, which has its own life cycle. So um, we can do work there together and work in parallel. And once it's finished, we will then integrate the feature branch back into the development branch. 
So for this, um, also some information, um, what you can see on the, on the right um, bottom corner, there is a little watermark, which indicates that you're now viewing my screen. Then it will also have um, the watermark. So every time we switch our screens and our workplaces, then you can um, see on which working place we are right now. Probably you can also see it somewhere in Zoom, which um, desktop you're viewing, but in order to have a, a bit better um, experience so you can see on which screen we are right now. Okay, now you can see um, the tool called SmartKit. I use this uh, for, for, my, for all of my Git uh, functionality. Uh, I also choose this because uh, it supports the Git flow quite nicely. And the first thing I want to do, um, create a new feature branch. So we're working, for example, there is a new feature request or some defect which was um, reported. So we have to fix something in the model. So PW, let's say, this is the issue ID which I got. So I have to work on the model according to some issue which was created. So I create the feature branch. And I will push the feature branch to the server. And once the feature branch um, was pushed to the server, we can start to work on the feature. And now it's Daniel's turn to modify the model in the feature branch. So Philip, my, maybe you can show us on your slide deck uh, what you did. Oh, sorry, yes, of course. So coming back to the slide deck, um, on, the on the right side, you can see basically the whole Git flow um, workflow, but we are focusing on only the, the, the lower part of the Git flow. So the development um, branch and also the feature branch. And basically what I did, I branched off from the main develop branch and created here this feature branch with the issue ID. And now we will work together on this feature branch in order not to disturb the development branch. Only if we um, finish the feature branch and it was reviewed, then it can be integrated back to the development. So the development will always be a branch where reviewed versions of the model will be integrated back. Thank you. Okay, Daniel, it's your turn. So let's get back. Uh, 15 kilometers further down the road uh, to my screen. I hope you all can see Enterprise Architect. Yes. Okay, so I have the model open. I got informed by Philip that he has um, a new feature branch for us to work on. I'm like the quality guy. I will make some clever uh, remarks in it. So. We have this new thing since Lemon Tree 2.5, which was improved a lot in Lemon Tree 2.6, which is an embedded Git client for Enterprise Architect. The Lemon Tree add-in, and I will do a simple Git pull to get the latest version from our GitHub backend. And it will do all the stuff for me automatically. Uh, so this is really designed to make it easier for systems engineers uh, to navigate or work with Git. Oh my God, they completely destroyed the diagram. So I will do a quick automatic layout change. You can see in the lower pen and zoom window what happens. And okay, much better. I feel happy now. So what I will do next, I will look at the requirement and I can already see uh, this is also a bit screwed up. And I write a review remark, attention, this can be tricky and uh, we will make some formatting and basically my job of modifying uh, the model in this feature branch. Oh, Philip, I didn't do something. I didn't switch to the feature branch. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. <laughs> so I did something, we have to do it again, but no problem, it will be fast. It's already here, okay. And uh, we now uh, are ready to save the model and uh, push it uh, back uh, to the uh, lemon tree.
uh, in the to the to the git repository uh, we have here a simple git command and push commit and push uh, that allows me uh, to quickly push my model there is an incident question uh, which branch was checked out uh, I, I switched the branch before sorry I am working on the feature branch. You can see here, uh, git switch to, and I'm working. Uh, I'm working on this feature branch now. It's not possible. Okay, haha. <laughs> okay, so we switch to the local branch. Ah, uh, thank you. You stopped us from our demo failing. No, it's it's fine. It, now it's, it's already fine. See, yes, yeah, it's already it's, gray. Here, here I can see which is the active branch. Yes. Okay. So back to commit and push. And I say um, fixed diagram. And it's going back. Uh, this is one command that does a local commit and also pushes it to the server. And so it's ready now. And uh, we will head over to Philip now. Mm -hmm. So while Daniel um, did his change to the model, I also started to change my model because yeah, we are working in parallel, of course. And I also uh, have the feeling that um, I have to add a remark to this, uh, to this uh, element, so the requirement. I'm more the textual guy, so I'm fine with the, with the diagram layout. Hopefully someone else will change it, but now it's not my task. So, but I will quickly reformat the text here. I will add a new input. So since we're talking about a power window, so the window controller of a car, uh, we will also have an input for auto, layer, auto lower feature. And also because we have some uh, estimations to do, please consider to risk in the estimation. I will also, because I'm also a bit concerned about this feature, I will add this remark for the estimation. Great, so, and since I'm, I'm not working with the lemon tree add-in, I'm um, using the smart Git tool. I have to, to close Enterprise Architect. And if I go back to, to the smart Git, I can see I have uh, some unpublished changes. Here we have one change in the working tree. And now I want to commit and push my changes also to the server. So I um, reformatted the text of the requirement one and also added a uh, estimation remark. Commit and push. So, and now this looks like a very bad error, but it isn't. So if we go back to, to my Git slides, what we now have, we have this situation that in the feature branch, Daniel already published a change, which was his commit and push before in, with the lemon tree add-in. And in the meantime, I also created a change. And the problem is now I, cannot push this to the server because there is in the feature branch already a newer version of this branch. And the problem is that we are based on the same um, commit from the development branch and I have to integrate my changes back to the feature branch and also consider Daniel's changes. That's why we, we get this error in the, in the Git tool and there is um, the possibility to resolve this so what I have to do, I have to pull uh, in order to integrate the changes from Daniel. This will merge Daniel's version along with my version. And the next thing, what happens, we get a conflict. And the conflict here is because the, the EAP format is a binary format and the, most of the, the Git tools are not able to merge the EAP files per, um, per default. 
So lemon tree uh, comes to the rescue in order to merge the binary files. So this is here only a binary file conflict. So this state here doesn't indicate that we have already a conflict on element level. So in the model, like a logical conflict, for example. So in order to resolve this binary conflict, I can simply double click um, the file and since we integrated lemon tree uh, into SmartKit, lemon tree will try to resolve um, the binary conflict. So it loads the models and tries to merge them. Most of the times um, this also works because if you work on um, parallel, um, in parallel and on separate parts of the models, then uh, it's possible for lemon tree to automatically merge the files. This is the, the scenario which is yeah, the most likely scenario. But sometimes it may happen that two um, people who work on the same part of the model also touch the same element and also most probably also the same property of the element. And this was the case here because Daniel changed this requirement and I also changed the requirement and we both modified the nodes of the requirement. So lemon tree pops up and now in this case, we have to resolve the conflict manually. So on the left side, we can see the first requirement here. It is conflicted. And if I head to the, the properties of the requirement, I can see what is the change here. So I reformatted the notes here. I added some new lines and also this remark and Daniel just added his remark there. And lemon tree, always takes one version uh, as suggestion in order to merge, which we can see here in the third co column in the merge preview. And if I want to combine the information, I can also manipulate um, the merge result here. And for example, I want to combine both properties in one um, version. So I just simply copy over Daniel's change and insert it here. And you can see it's um, in the raw display because we also have some formatting, some HTML tags. So when I confirm this change, I can switch back to the HTML representation. I can see, well, yeah, the HTML display, it works. So I created now a new version for this element. You can see here the users applied tag that indicates that I manually changed this element and the property of the element um, during the merge. So the second thing which was changed is here the requirement diagram. I can have a look also at this diagram, but um, here we can see the texture representation in this case is not very helpful, but we also have the diagram viewer and we can see what changed here. If we zoom in a bit, we see this requirement here. Uh, it has uh, an orange border that indicates the element itself has some changes, which is indeed the documentation property here. But aside of that, we have some graphical changes, which are is the auto layer, uh, auto layout, which um, Daniel used. So for me, that's fine. The diagram uh, is now in this merged version here. It's, yeah, it looks much better. So I confirm this change. And once I'm finished with merging and reviewing all the changes, I can start the lemon tree merge. Now lemon tree finished. So I can close lemon tree. And now I just confirmed that the file conflict was resolved externally by lemon tree. And I can Continue the rebasing. So now what I did, I took Dennis changes and merged it together with my change. And now the commit history looks like this. So it's Dennis change and my change was put on top of Dennis change. So to finish this up, I will push my commit And once this is done, um, I can hand it back over to Daniel. 
so it's back we are back in the other village and i uh what i can do now i can again pull uh there was one question which i can answer right now this lemon tree add-in menu was introduced with lemon tree 2.5 but it got a lot uh, better in Lemon Tree 2.6. So if you want to test this, uh, please download Lemon Tree 2.6. <coughs> so the pull was successful. Uh, the, the branch is still the same one. And I can now review uh, the changes to the model because this is one of the very, very beautiful things of this way of working. You finally have a powerful way to review changes to the model other people did. In my example, I can show you, for example, I can show you the log. So also from this add-in, uh, you can uh, show a simplified Git log and I can, uh, for example, uh, exactly have a look what changed in, in, in two versions and hit compare and the mall and lemon tree will start up and I will have a good chance to review um, the different versions of the model. This is also very helpful when you need information who changed what let's say one year ago you also can use this. So I didn't choose uh, perfect uh, demo data now uh, but I think you will get the point uh, how this works and uh, that you can use it uh, to to really get control over, over what happened to your model uh, during, during the time. Uh, also, I can show you here uh, is something uh, that is interesting if you want to try this out. Uh, we put the information in a public GitHub repository. Again, we can send you the link if you give us your email address and you can clone this repository and try to play around with it right away. Philip, are you ready for the next part? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so let's get back to you. Okay, thanks. So again, coming back to our workflow here with the feature branches. While Daniel was reviewing my change, um, in the meantime, someone else, in this case, Conrad, he published a change to the development branch. So another feature branch, so a different life cycle of a feature was finished and Conrad integrated his changes from the feature branch back to develop. And now what we want to do, we want to also finish our feature and integrate it back to develop. And the same thing, uh, what we did before with, within the feature branch, um, we want to combine uh, our version with the current version which is in develop. So we have to um, merge the developed version with the version of the feature branch. So I start with the integration of the development branch and since this is a different um, feature request and a different feature branch, um, the change was done to a completely um, separate part of the model. So I'm expecting no conflict. In this case, again, this is the file conflict. I just have to tell SmartKit to use lemon tree in order to um, resolve the conflict. And lemon tree, um, again, tries to, to read the model and tries to merge the model. So if there is no conflict um, appearing, on element level, like we had before, lemon tree uh, will be able to automatically merge the changes. So this is what happened now. So you can see um, someone else changed the model um, and I wanted to integrate uh, my feature. And I is, I'm assuming that I, have, I don't have to, to merge here because it's a completely um, separate part of the model. And indeed, um, it's very, uh, a rather seldom case that you have to use the lemon tree UI in order to, to merge your model. So it only happens if you really modify the same uh, element and the same property of the element. So most of the time you don't get to see our nice lemon tree UI. 
So I will continue with the, with the integration. Again, because we have a second commit, um, we have the same um, conflict again for the file. So I all, again start lemon tree in order to resolve the conflict. So the same thing will happen. It checks um, if lemon tree is able to merge the versions automatically. And again, since it was a change to a completely separate part of the model, lemon tree will be able to merge the files. So I'm finished again, stage. And now I can continue and this time I'm clean. So if we go back to the slides, these two changes are now integrated back into develop. And when I push my version, the feature branch will be deleted and the finished feature uh, with the changes uh, from Daniel and my changes, it, they will be pushed to the development branch. So I just simply uh, finish the feature and I can also give some um, commit message here. We used, um, we used to um, enter here the issue ID, so PW and then the, the ID of the issue. So in order to see um, which feature was integrated into the development. So I only have um, the name uh, of the issue ID. Philip, can you show us the revision graph? Mm -hmm. I think this is also interesting. Philip is using SmartKit, but also in a combination with Tortois. You can do all of that also with Tortois, yes. just SmartKit is more easy sometimes. Correct, yeah, so I can simply use all other features um, of, for example, Tortoise Git, because um, the integration of Lemon Tree, it's not um, using all, all the Git features, it's the other way around. All the, the Git tools are using Lemon Tree, but only to merge the ERP files. So basically you could um, configure multiple um, Git tools or other version control tools um, to use a Lemon Tree in order to merge the binary files, um, which in our case are the EAP or EPX files. Okay. So Thank you, Philip. And now it, it's finished. So our feature branch was deleted and we finished this feature and now I have only one commit, um, which uh, marks the integration of the feature. Thank you, Philip. So I want to mention uh, one thing that uh, came up in the chat, in the private chat. Uh, yes, lemon tree and this Git flow process you can also do with other version control systems. It's also possible to do it with PTC lifecycle manager or with subversion. But this combination of Git simply gives you the best tool support. But we have very successful customers using it with PTC as well. Uh, and another question was, can you combine the repository with source code? Yes, absolutely you can. Uh, this is a, a, even a good way to do it, to combine uh, the model and the source code in one repository. So this is a statement that really makes us very happy. A customer of us from HEMA said, in general standards such, such as IEC 61508 demand the application of configuration management. So basically, this is what I told you before, but with the customer's voice, uh, that it's really required to use version control systems in order to fulfill the safety critical norms. And this also affects uh, UML, SysML tools, and not just source code or documents. The summary of today's session, um, Lemon Tree is our solution, it's an established commercial three-way diff and merge tool for enterprise architect-based models. And you can, and it can very, e very I always have problems with this sentence. It, um, <laughs> it, it helps you to clearly understand and visualize the changes that happen to the model, okay? So, the problem of farm life is there's a chainsaw outside now. So the key takeaway of today is basically this way of working with version control systems and feature branches is clearly the state of the art at the moment. 
and it allows you to do consistent development. It reduces your risks and most or the best feature I think is you have very good triggers to do peer reviews when merging feature branches uh, back into the developer head. Your call to action is uh, you can download Lemon Tree today. If you install Tortoise to Git first, it's very easy and it will integrate automatically in the Git client. Uh, you can clone our repo and obviously you can arrange a WebEx to discuss further things with us. So that's it from us. It's now time to take questions. I will mute myself because some redneck decided to cut with a chainsaw in front of my house. <laughs>